Hi everyone, so I'm going to do Oliver's two month update. Um, he is currently nine weeks and four days. Today is the, oh, it's the 13th of March. Here's Oliver. Oh, let me try and get a better shot. Oh. Here he is. There we go. I'm doing it in my kitchen. This is not going to be the colour we're keeping, by the way. Um, and I've got you in a cupboard. Very good place to uh, do filming. But anyway, so yeah, um, Oliver is two months old. Um, he turned two months old on the 5th. Um, 5th, 5th of March, um, and I think I'm probably going to do these monthly just basically because it's so much easier to get videos out if I do it that way. Um, so yeah, um, basically Oliver is, he's doing okay-ish, um, he is, I might have to change cupboards because this one's a little bit low. <laughs> Too light. Can't get it right. Yeah. Um, can you see my really bad spots? Ugh. Um, yeah. So basically, um, I'm just gonna nod up and down. Um, basically, um, Oliver is um, eleven. As of last Thursday, um, he is eleven pounds uh, three ounces, and we're getting him reweighed on the twenty first. Um, he likes being held all the time now, as you can tell. Oh. <laughs> yes, I'm still here. Um, is that one better? Yeah, a little bit. Um, yeah, and so we're getting him reweighed on the 21st, basically because the doctors are worried about his weight because he was born on the 75th centile and he is now dropped down to the 9th. Um, we are exclusively breastfeeding still. Um, there have been, he is a very poor breastfeeding baby, I would say. Um, his latch is still ridiculously poor. Sometimes he will latch on and then he'll latch off multiple times during a feed. Sometimes on the off chance he will actually stay on the breast, which is like a miracle. Otherwise, mostly I have to um, help him feed. Um, I have to hold sort of the breast in place for him, um, uh, otherwise it just keeps coming coming out. Um, and I have had trouble with um, flat flat nipples, so I do have to wait for my letdown to sort of allow my nipple to protrude out a bit. It sounds a bit weird, but so that he can actually latch onto something. So I'm not sure whether that's the issue. Oh. Um, what are you looking at? Glasses. Um, so yeah, uh, so we're going back for that. Uh, the twenty-first also are his first injections. So um, obviously those have got to be done. Um, what else? Um, he is now finally into zero to three month clothing. Um, that it's he turned he went into nine month uh, zero to three month clothing. Um, the day he turned nine weeks, um, uh, but yeah, he can still fit into his um, newborn up to ten pound clothes. Um, it's just the length, the lengthwise zero to three. The the like <laughs> the sizings. Um, it's huge on the body, but it fits him on the length. Um, so yeah, that's. But we we've just obviously changed changing out. Obviously, just putting all the newborn stuff away. And sadly, I think we're probably going to be getting rid of um, things as we go along now, um, as they have been used. Most of the stuff was second hand when we got it for Freddie, so it's been used multiple times now. Um, what else? Um, so yeah, feeding wise, um, it's very frustrating. Um, obviously, with the latching issues, and then when he has finished feeding. Um, I put him on my shoulder and he immediately burps and brings up pretty much most of what I fed him. Um, so that's probably why his weight gain is so poor. Um, we've tried him with 
Gaviscon and a Meprazole, which haven't worked. Um, and I've tried taking dairy out of my diet, which has not worked either. So as of the 21st, if his weight still isn't good enough, then we're going to be referred to a paediatrician. Um, I know you look so cute. You're looking at the camera. Wow. Yeah, there's no time for makeup these days, so excuse the appearance. Um, what else? Uh, he is starting to notice things a lot more. Like, he has no time... Um, he hates being put down, so putting him down is an issue. Um, he doesn't like his Moses basket. Most of the time he ends up sleeping in the bed with us. Like, he'll start off asleep in his basket and then he'll wake up to feed and then I'll feed him lying down. And then nine times out of ten I fall back asleep and I wake up and then he's still there next to me asleep. And then he wakes up to be fed again, so most of the time he's in bed with us and that's been going on for... A Pretty much since we moved in here, um, which was the 17th, I believe, 17th of February, no, 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 we moved in, uh, the 23rd of February, sorry, um, as of the 23rd of February, um, he's basically been sleeping in bed, um, sleeping in bed with us, which is, um, I'm, I'm, I don't really want him to be in bed with us because Freddie never was obviously a different baby, different temperament. Um, he doesn't like being put down anywhere for a significantly long amount of time. So you can put him down on his, on his play mat, um, bouncer, swing, anything, and he's bored or crying to be picked up. Um, um, and wants to be picked up. Um, what else? Uh, he's pooing and peeing fine, so I know that he's getting, you know, he's drinking enough and he's producing this standard, you know, six, I think it's six wet, six to twelve um, wet nappies a day, which he's doing. Um, what else? Uh, uh, he loves Freddy. He'll watch him um, all the time. He'll just stand there, well, lay there and stare at him, um, and, um, what else? I can't think of anything else, Oliver. Um, I haven't done, oh, he, when we went for our eight-week check, um, we went for our eight-week check, and his, uh, head circumference and his length are both in the 25th, um, borderline 50th centile, so he's probably going to be a shorty like me because this is me standing still and I'm five foot two. So, um, he, I don't think you're going to be as tall as your brother, unfortunately. Sorry. Um, but yeah, like I said, his weight is in the ninth. Um, uh, I'm okay. I stopped bleeding around, um, six, six ish weeks postpartum. Um, we did, uh, we, I have obviously been intimate with Matt once, which was I think eight weeks postpartum, but it did actually, um, it was uncomfortable and it did sort of hurt, um, not hurt to the extent of stopping, but it did hurt, um, and I did bleed a little bit afterwards, so, but I've had no period yet, um, Weight-wise, obviously, I'm down to 12 stone 2. Um, I've still got a massive mum tum, which I'll show you, obviously, when I've... Um, I'll put Oliver down somewhere. Um, I'll put them in the balancer down here, and I'll show you. Um, yeah, so basically, that is it, really. Um, I will do another update soon, but he has hair. I'm not sure. He doesn't really have much on the top. He has little fluff bits, but at the back... <laughs> Let's turn him around. At the back, he still has his little monk cut. Um, can you say hello? Can you say hello? He smiles a lot when he's happy, coos. <gasps> wow, what's that? Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Are you going to smile? I'm going to put some pictures in. See if I can get him to smile. Oliver! Oliver! 
Wow, and he talks and ah. talks and babbles, ah. but he does cry a lot. He's very fussy. Um, ah. So, ah. where are you doing? Ah. Where are you going? Oh, here you go. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna have to go and feed him, aren't we? Because he's just done a massive poop up the back. Um, so yeah, I will go. I will quickly show you my tummy, and then that will be it. Um, I am obviously I will do a house tour once everything's set up um, in the house it's nothing nowhere near ready yet um, and I will get that done but I will show you my belly quickly he may start crying so beware so this is my stomach in front, inside, from the front, from the side, from the side. Yeah, so I will see you all guys soon um, and hope you're all well. It's really dark. Hope you're all well and I shall speak to you soon.